And I got some powerful stuff I'm going to share with you today. Again, my name is Anthony Stewart, the president of American Classic Agency, uh, based right out here in Atlanta, Maryland. Uh, we have a new headquarters that we just opened up last week, 7375 Executive Place Suite 300 in Atlanta, Maryland. You don't want to miss out on this movement uh, that we're doing uh, with our mission is to become agents of change for families regarding income protection, debt elimination, and creating financial legacies. That's what ACA is all about, uh, to serve uh, those in need in our community. So we're on a mission to put $1.5 billion of future tax-free transferable wealth back into the communities that we live in, that we serve. So that's what we're here to do, and uh, we're looking to partner up with agents that are already in the industry, those that are looking to get in the industry, and those who uh, who may be looking to get out of the industry but now have a new life and want to come back and join this movement. So I'm excited just to be a part of it. So today, ladies and gentlemen, um, I kind of struggled to come up with a topic that I can say, you know, it is financial empowerment month. I don't say financial literacy anymore. It's financial empowerment month. And, uh, and I kept thinking about, you know, what am I going to talk about today? Uh, I hear so much that's going on. So many people uh, try all these different things that, um, that they don't know anything about, really. But we just take chances because it sounds good. I mean, when you really sit back and think about it, you know, people put their money in a bank, uh, whether it's Truist Bank, whether it's Bank of America, PNC Bank, it doesn't matter. They put their money in there and don't know anything about the bank. Not at all. They don't know anything about the bank. People buy CDs. They don't know anything about the financial institution. People invest in mutual funds and stocks. They don't know anything about that either, but they do it because that's what everybody else is doing. Uh, people buy uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, people uh, joining... Um, cryptocurrency and all that. I mean, that's fine if that's what you want to do. But people are doing these things not knowing anything about it, right? But they're doing it because their friends said it's a good thing to do and they're making money. So I want to share with you today is the plan that has a proven track record. When you really sit back and think about it, what has a proven track record? You know what I mean? Well, the stock market doesn't. I mean, you know we can lose money with that. Right, and, and, and that's okay. If that's what you want to do, you want to gamble, that's fine. You, you know what I mean? That's 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 up for you to decide. Uh, but we got to understand the, the plan that has a proven track record that has never failed yet. And I went back and did a little history, and I'm going to throw some dates at you, and just so you can really sit back and think about the powerful tool that so many times we don't understand or we turn our nose up against it because it, it may not be sexy. But that depends. If you're on the receiving end of it, it's real sexy if you're the ones that's receiving. So when I think about the plan that has a proven track record, guess what I'm talking about, right? What happened back in the early 1900s, right about 1914, 1915, World War I took place, right? It was the insurance industry that kept this country afloat. What about right after the 1929 stock market crash? It was the insurance companies, permanent life insurance, that kept this country afloat. Insurance companies control 75 to 80% of the wealth in this country. So my question is, why aren't people rushing to get insurance, permanent insurance in particular, but the wealthy people are doing it, the banks are doing it, right? Why, why aren't middle America doing more of it? Yes, we're making our move, we're making our debt, but we should be buying as much of it as we can, not just enough to put you in the ground. I'm talking about buying millions of dollars of it, right? I mean, a million dollars. Most of I look at it today, ACLI.org. That stands for American Council of Life Insurance. It shows that many Americans are underinsured. They're underinsured, all right? So we got to give people a half a million, 200. Our goal as an organization is to make sure we have everybody that has at least a quarter of a million dollars. That's it, right? A quarter of a million dollars. So if a person, we know they're going to pass away at some point, 
but that's a quarter of a million dollars that can help that next generation or a million dollars. 20,000 not going to do it, y'all. It's not going to do it. So think about the backbone of this country. Is it the banks? No. We just know what's going on with that. Is it the uh, Wall Street? No. It's the insurance industry. Let me throw a couple of the under dates at you. 1935, the Great Depression. It was the insurance industry that still credited interest, that still paid dividends. Right during the worst times of our country, it was an insurance company. That's a plan that has a proven track record. Let's move it up to the 1940s. World War II took place, right? It's still the insurance company still gave credited interest to their policyholders. Many companies still paid dividends to their policyholders, policyholders, right during the worst part of the era that we were in at that time, right? Can the market do that? No. Life insurance companies are the glue that holds this country together. That's a plan that has a proven track record. Let's move it a little further. The Korean War in the 1950s, I believe it was 1953. Now, I'm not a history major, but I just remember certain dates. We still gave credited interest to policyholders. We still paid dividends to, quality hold, to policyholders. What other industry has done that? I can't think of any. Let's move it up a little bit. The 1970s, the Vietnam War. Still paid dividends, still gave credited interest, uh, interest no matter what. So that's a plan that has a proven track record. Why are we out here searching and gambling and taking chances with our hard-earned money with stuff that has no proven track record, let alone if it's not regulated? So why are people doing that? Because they don't understand the backbone. And it's up to the agents at ACA to teach that the backbone of sound financial planning is your life insurance first. Then you can talk about doing other stuff, but if you ain't got your life insurance together yet, you should not be gambling with your money in the stock market or anybody's 401k plan. You just shouldn't. The life insurance is what's going to take care of that family when someone passes away. When someone passes away, they don't ask how much money they had in their 401k plan. They ask how much life insurance. They got a couple of questions they need to know. Number one, is are we going to be able to stay in the same house? Are the children going to be able to go to the same school? Are they going to have to get new friends? How long is the money going to last? Those are the four major questions that people want to know when someone passes away. So you got to look at yourself. If you were to pass away, what do you want those answers to be? Right? A twenty-five dollars to $30,000 policy not going to do it. We got to get up in the millions, two million, three millions. Well, let's move it up a little far, farther now. 1994, 95, the Gulf War, right? Y'all remember Desert Storm and all that kind of stuff. The insurance industry still paid dividends and still gave guaranteed interest rates to the policyholders. So that's the plan that has a proven track record. Let's bring it a little closer to home now. 2020, COVID-19, all the people that passed away, right? Insurance companies still paid death claims still gave guaranteed credited interest and still paid dividends. What other industry has been through all of these things in a lifetime and still maintain? Only the life insurance industry. That's a plan with a proven track record, right? You can investigate it. You can sort it out. You can get anybody to look at it, but you will see that the insurance industry always delivered on its promise. No other financial organization or institution or entity could do that but a life insurance company. So I'm proud to say I'm in the insurance business. I'm glad to be in it and uh, I'm going to die in it. And I will strongly encourage you to talk to your family members and ask them, do you have enough coverage? Because if they don't, guess whose door they're going to be knocking on? They're going to be knocking on your door. And the question is, are you ready to hand out five, six, seven, ten thousand dollars? It's unnecessary, right? So we have to do better. When you do, when you know better, you can do better. We are here to teach you here at American Classic Agency. If you're not sure, give us a call at 301-794-4290, and we have the answers for you. So the plan that has a proven track record, right? It has stood the test of time from the time of its inception until today. And let me drop this on you. 
because a lot of people understood this a hundred years ago. Walt Disney understood this a hundred years ago when he was turned down for traditional financing and he needed money to start his theme park, Disneyland. Many of you all have probably been there. If it wasn't for him using an insurance company to have access to cash, there would never be a Disneyland. Doris Christopher needed money to uh, launch her struggling business to pamper chef. She went into her insurance policy and took out a loan against it and was able to keep her company going and sold it to Warren Buffett for $900 million. J.C. Penney, right? With John Cash Penny, right after the 1929 stock market crash, he went into his insurance policy. He didn't go to his mutual funds. He didn't go to his bank account. He went to his insurance company because he had guaranteed access to it with no questions asked. And he was able to maintain payroll and went on to become a philanthropist. All right? So Ray Kroc, he wanted to open up more McDonald's. Guess where he went? He went into his insurance program, not his bank, not his stock market, not the mutual funds, not his real estate. He went into his insurance program. So when I tell you insurance has stood the test of time, it really has. That's the guaranteed plan uh, that has a proven track record. And several U.S. Presidents, presidents do the same thing. So it's time for little old you and I to get on the bandwagon and start doing the same things. So you want to know the plan that has a proven track record? It's permanent life insurance. Guaranteed access to cash, no questions asked, non-structured payments back, uh, cash value continues to grow with or without a loan taken out against it. I don't know if anything else could do that. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's my segment for the day. Uh, it is Financial Empowerment Month, and uh, I wanted to come to you with the plan with the proven track record. Stop gambling with your money. Put your money in guarantees. Park it in a bucket that has guaranteed returns with guaranteed access to it without any questions asked. And the only thing that can do that is permanent life insurance. Uh, that's all I got for you today, y'all. And uh, I'm ready to rock and roll. If y'all need me for anything, I'm at 301-794-4290. And uh, let's do a review about what you have. See, Make sure you got the right stuff. Make sure you're set up properly. Because after tragedy strike, it's too late then. We got to do it now while we're on this side. So thank you all for your time. I'll see you again next Tuesday, same time, same place. And I'll put out the topic early Tuesday morning. And uh, we'll see where we go from here. Thank you all. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.